let me start by showing you guys the ingredients we are going to be using flour sugar eggs I've got five I will put everything in the description box below uh, baking powder oil and salt as well as vanilla essence we are basically making the sponge for our lemon tins so we are going to start with putting the sugar the oil the eggs vanilla essence I really don't like measuring guys <laughs> and then we are just going to beat this done beating and this is how it looks I had to beat at least like four to six minutes keep this aside and then mix our dry ingredients we should have started with this guys but it's not a train smash and then we are going to be using the sieve again so I'm just gonna mix this I'm too lazy to get something to mix this together with so here's what i'm gonna do i'm not gonna put everything all at once because i don't want one moment okay i'm gonna use this now i'm not gonna use the hand mix or the hand yeah it is a hand mix <laughs> i'm just gonna like fold this together Okay, we're gonna keep folding this until it comes together and then we're gonna go ahead and add the other ingredients which is just our dry um, dried ingredients I really want this video to be short so I will cut off here and there and then I'll come back and show you guys when I'm done but this is basically what you have to do you're not gonna just like go like mix no you have to do it like this and this is my second time making lemon tins. The first time I made them, I'm going to uh, put a picture and then show you guys how they came out. They were so, so good. But then I couldn't remember what it is I used. <laughs> I lost the page where I wrote the ingredients and I was like, Ugh, I'll just make it again. And this time I'm going to make like a large quantity. So now it's coming together. Cause it, but it looks like it's got some bit of lumps. And then we're just gonna go ahead you can do this in thirds but I really ain't got time for that so I'm just gonna go in now with my second badge okay we're gonna continue and do the same thing I'm gonna be back when all of this is mixed guys This is how everything looks. I hope I'm gonna get it right this time. And my pan is big, guys. I got it from Pep. So I'm not sure of the size. So <laughs> I am try I'm gonna try and measure it out. Okay, the way I'm standing, it is so uncomfortable. But then ugh, I need to get this in here. Okay, I'm going to try my best. And I just um, buttoned my pan and dusted it with some flour. That's all. I forgot to mention that my oven is already preheated. So we're just going to pop this in the oven in a minute. 
This thing is so heavy. The bowl itself is so heavy. So, that is so hard. Okay, let me keep it here. And then, I'm just going to try and distribute it. Distribute this as evenly as possible. And just in case you're wondering, I got this pep for I mean I got this pan for 70 Rand. And it is so so good, guys. It is so good compared to the other ones I got from this other shop I don't want to mention because I don't want to be dragged. <laughs> but yeah. I use it mostly when I'm making our uh, brownies. Okay. Now this has a lot of, you can see all the bubbles in there. So let's try and break those bubbles by banging this against the table a few minutes, a few times. Why am I saying a few minutes? A few times rather. Guys, it's a Sunday. I've got a lot of things to do. So I'm trying to be as quick as possible with these videos because tonight my books are waiting for me so now i'm gonna pop this in the oven and then i'm gonna tell you guys how long it took for it to bake our sponge is ready i baked it for 30 minutes and i almost spent it guys i forgot that i had something in the oven i don't know what's wrong with me so here we are this is exactly 30 minutes you might have to maybe bake it for like 25 minutes just have to keep looking at it and see if it's ready i'm just gonna leave this to cool down and get on with my life <laughs> And then I'll come back to cut it and maybe keep it in the fridge. Like, we'll see if I have time to keep it in the fridge. And then I'll keep it in the fridge to firm up so that it's going to be easier for me to cut it. So see you when I'm done, guys. Bother with the size. I'm just going to eyeball everything. But if you want to measure everything so you have the same size, you may go ahead and do that. Okay. Let's go on for the third slice. Oopsie. I'm not. Oh, God, these things. Okay, the other ones, I'm just going to make them bigger. Let me see. Should I cut here or should I cut? Okay, let me just. I'm getting lazy. <laughs> I'm getting so lazy. Okay. One more. And then I'm going to turn it out like this and then continue to cut i'm gonna just cut three times oopsie they're not gonna be the same size okay and then one more time and this is still a bit warm i don't know what i was thinking so these are squares this is how a sponge looks like and then i'm just gonna keep the, this in the fridge and continue doing something else and then I'm gonna come back and show you guys what I use to the sauce that I use to dip them in and then the uh, coconut flour or coconut powder that I use I'll be back just now to make our sauce or dip we are going to be using this uh, lamington dip powder in a raspberry flavor I have the chocolate but I want to try out the raspberry the last time I tried out I used the chocolate so now I'm gonna try out this raspberry it is 11 dollars 90 I'm not sure where else you can get it besides the shop I got it from in town so you might have to like google or look for recipes for the sauce because I only know this or however what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna Try and get a recipe for the sauce and then I'll put it in the description box below. But just know that it's not a sauce that I've tried because I haven't tried any sauces yet. And whenever I do, I'll come back and let you guys know or I'm going to upload it on my Facebook page. So this calls for 200 ml of water. I'm going to go in there with 200 ml of water. And then I'm going to boil this. And then when it's boiling, I'm going to add the, the powder and then stir. I'm going to show you guys just now.
Our squares are now perfectly ready to be dipped into our sauce and our sauce has cooled down perfectly and it's starting to stick on the pot. See, let me just put it one side and then I have here um, coconut. I just put it in an open bowl and I am using this kitchen fried coconut, desiccated coconut. I got it from ShopRite as well. Guys, I buy everything from ShopRite for spa because that's the only thing we have in Mandini. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with one of my squares. Oh, I wish I had enough space to work. And then I'm just going to dip it in there. Turn it upside down. You may use a fork for this, but I prefer to use this. And then turn it upside down and then do it like this. And then dip it in here, turn it upside down, like so, and you have your lamenting squares, or your cake squares, or your red cake, or your snowball. <laughs> this is basically what you need. Okay, just mix everything in there. Now, when it's like this, you may use your hands perfectly coat everything guys that is quite hard for me to do this so I'm gonna continue doing all of these other ones and I'll come back when I'm done squares look 